Okay, Matt, let's see if this works. First off, this is the beach club right here, the golf course and everything. And you see this is the entrance to the beach club right here. Well, where you're going to fish at is right here. It's called the Pines. It is a uh, little boat launch there. And what you'll do is put in here, is you've worked this coast. And while you're working this coast, you know, fish it. But when you get to here, this is where all the fun begins. Go up in these sloughs, fish the edges of the grass, fish in the middle, especially top water uh, in the mornings. Here, the slough here. And as you come down, you see where this makes this little S curve here. Right here is where I was telling you is a great place to get white trout. So fish all in here. You'll get some speckled trout, redfish, and a white trout right there. So that's one area to fish. And you can also work the coastline right across here. Mile marker four, which I keep telling you about, is like I said, this is right here at your driveway. You're going to drive down here to mile marker four. You're going to see three entrances. When you get there, do not take the first entrance you see. That's real sandy. A lot of people get stuck. This one right here, it's got a little steep drop off the edge of the road, but it's good solid ground. You can come all the way to here. This is all solid. You'll back up here, put your kayak in the water here, and then pull your truck back right here in case the tide comes up. Now from here, this is the place, this is the meat wagon here. Come out here, you can fish any of these sloughs going down here or here. My personal favorite is go out of the edge here. As you come here, you can go in this one, either of these, but this is the best one is I love this one right here is the one I love the most. The first one you come to, it'll go and meet up with the one I like the most, but right in here, great speckled trout fishing. You can get redfish also. And then right in here is good speckled trout fishing. But I love this slough here. After you get through with that, come out around the edge, be casting around here, your hard bait, you can get a Jack of hour, you can hook into a bull red or some other reds. And then when you get up in here, you got more sloughs you can go down. I love go down that slough. But you're going to see a lot of trees and stuff in the water right here. All in here, fish outside this area here for redfish. And like I said, you may get a Jack of owl. And then go down the sloughs and fish the edges of the grass. And uh, all these places might produce a flounder along with your uh, redfish and speckled trout. But that's that launch. It's not that far from you. It's Like I said, it's about four miles, and you'll see it. One other place to, you might want to go is down at the end of Port Morgan where the uh, Dolphin Island Ferry is. There's a boat launch here that you can launch, and this is closed. But right around here is where everybody talks about catching flounder. I don't fish it much, but everybody loves that pier for flounders. Uh, they had someone drown and they closed it. So, uh, but it's still a great flounder spot. This here shows it's uh, the jetties. They're specs from April to October. You'll see the jetties there. There's also a little barge reef there. You'll want to drop something low, usually shrimp if I'm going to fish any of that kind of stuff, the platforms and things. But that's your, the stuff right by your house. Now when you go back to town, like I said, you are, uh, you're here and you're going to go back to town. Here's the lagoon. Right here is called Friends uh, Bonskier Bird Refuge and you'll see a kayak launch and there's a sign here. You'll come here, here's where your launch is. You gotta pull your kayak to there, which is about 50 foot. If you launch there, it's real shallow. You can walk out to here, this ain't knee deep. But in these depths is where you want to fish for specks. And the lagoon has big specks, five to eight pound specks is what I've seen out of there in the past. But fish the deep parts and at these points, fish all along there, top water in the morning, and then uh you want to fish live croaker to catch a big speck. This is where they do it at. But I love this point right here. See how it's sandbar all in this here is great speckled trout area. 
use that rip and slash or a mirror lure. But all in here is great trout fishing. The other place you can launch in the lagoon is here at um, Moe's Landing. It's called uh, the Little, Little Lagoon Ramp. This is a boat ramp. Launch here and just come right around here. There's a little deep water. There's flounder in here, speckled trout. Mostly here I fish for flounder. You, and you come up here and the flounder area is here and speckled trout. You can also go to the east part and fish all along the sides here for redfish and flounder. Now if I was going to fish at night in the lagoon, I would launch at this launch here. And then you hit any of the lights you see on any of these places. The lagoon doesn't have a lot of lights, but it has a few. Anywhere there's lights, you're going to catch fish. And right here at the mouth of the uh, West Pass, you notice it specks reds and flounders from April to November. Uh, fish that area there. Uh, good area. The next thing is fishing the lights at night. Is uh, you got Canal Road, and where Chris Vesche works is called Sam, and it is right on the Canal Road, uh, somewhere right in this area here. Where I like to launch from is called Look Rook Road. And you come down the Canal Road till you see Look Rook Road, and you can back up and unload your kayak right into the water from here also. And Look Rook, there's a uh, driveway right there, you unload here. You see that, it says Specks and Reds, May to October, Fish to Light. What you're going, how you're going to fish this is you're going to launch there and then just go down this shore. Any place you see a light, you fish it. Also, you'll see about eight or ten pilings sticking in the water here. This is a reef, about 20 foot in water. I've caught trout, I've caught specks, I've caught a hammerhead shark there before. You can catch anything here. I usually do that till it gets dark. I'll fish this till dark. Once it gets dark, I go in here and I start hitting the lights. You go all the way down here. There's a couple of underwater green lights. When you see them, fish them green lights. A lot of red fish love the green lights. When you get to the end here, instead of going around the corner, go straight across. This is Ono Island, and there's a lot of lights here. In fact, one of the lights has got about, one pier's got about six lights. It's Dr. Dempsey. Fish this right here. Great trout. Anywhere there's lights, you're going to catch a speckled trout. And over here, you don't know it, but there's a submerged green light. Good fishing right by Dr. Dempsey. People don't see that light. But uh, fish all the way back through here, all these lights. When you get here, cut across, and you can go back and load up. Another place you can do is when you launch here, is go around this corner. And right here is Back Bay Condominium. They also have a public access right here. You can launch there. I've wade fished here. Right in here is a ton of white trout. I love the white trout here. And at night, I like to fish these piers over here for redfish. This is my favorite pier for redfish there. But that's a quick observation is look Rook Road here, fish the lights all the way down, and come back on this side at the back side of Bear Point and come across. And then your mile marker four and um, that one launch I was showing you right across the street from you, Pines, is called uh, the Pines Ramp. Them are your two go-tos. That one there, easy, get you some specks and some white trout. This one, come over here and get you some reds and speckled trout. Um, and then, like I said, anytime you want to fish the lagoon, that's some good fishing, too. I hope this helps. you got any questions, you know, just give me a call. Talk to you later.